Hey there, Jet Boosters. Nelson here with another Jet Boost tutorial. Now, this one is all about dynamic filtering for your multi-reference field. All right, so let me show you what I mean right here. Okay, so uh, I have a collection for blog posts and I have a multi-reference field called tags. And in my collection list, I have my blog posts and I have the tags in a nested collection. Okay. Now with Webflow out of the box, you cannot give your users the option to filter dynamically on their end uh, by tag. Only you, the designer can do this. So for example, if I go to my collection list wrapper, go to filters, I'm going to add a filter and look for tags. And I only want to show things with tag five. I can do it. But if I want to change it, I can only do it through here, the designer tool. I cannot change it outside in the published version of the site. So this is where JetBoost comes in. All right. So let's add the dynamic list filtering. Let's go to JetBoost and look for our project. We're going to add a booster. Click on dynamic list filters, create, let that run, and there we go. And now we want to pull from blog posts, and the field we want to use is tag, multiple selections, yes, match strategy, any, add selected filters to URL. I say yes to this all the time because this gives you the option to send a direct a link to that filter through your social media, email, or what have you. So let's press continue. We're good to go there. Now let's copy this JetBoost script, open it up, uh, go to our code area, paste the code in, save changes, and publish. So what this does, it connects your Webflow project to your JetBoost account. So don't change anything here, just paste it and publish. Let's go ahead and close the browser tab, test and continue, and we're good. Step three, let's go ahead and copy this list wrapper class, and we're going to go to our collection list wrapper, go to the styles panel and paste it in here. Okay, and now go back to JetBoost and copy this collection item embed. And right here under collection item, we're going to press command or control E, type in embed, and this adds an embed component inside of your collection item. We're going to po or paste that special code in there, save and close, and publish. Okay, let that run, let that run. And there we go. So now we can test and continue. And there we go, another check. Last step, now we wanna make the buttons for the filtering, all right? So you have three options here, button, link block, or checkbox. The easiest one, go with button. Now we're going to copy this class name and let's go ahead and make our buttons. So what you need to do is pull in another collection list, okay? And I'm putting that above my original collection list. And we're going to pull in data from tags, okay? That's where the buttons are coming from. They're coming from tags, right? And for this collection list wrapper, I'm gonna give it a class name, the one that we've copied, uh, copied and we're pasting it. So we're telling JetBoost, hey, this is our filter. All right, and now let's go ahead and start adding our buttons. So I'm gonna click on the first collection item. I'm gonna type in button, and I'm going to pull text from the name, and there we go. And let's go ahead and style this. I already have a preset style of button, so now it looks good. And this collection list, I'm going to give it a class name of tag row. And all it is, is just has a display of flex. That way all the tags can be in one row. And now 
for these buttons, I need to do two more things. I'm going to add an embed, so I'm going to copy this code, press Command E, type in embed, and so there we go, we have our button and we have our embed, paste in that special code, save it, and one more thing, the active. So this active state, what is the button going to look like when someone clicks on it and when this filter is active? So let's go ahead and add a combo class that we just copied. We're pasting that in there. And I'm just going to give it a different background color. And when I'm done, I just need to remove this. So just because I removed it from Webflow doesn't mean that Webflow actually deleted it completely. No, those styles, that new background color that I just put is saved. So we can go ahead and press publish and wait for it, test it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go, we're done. So all we need to do is change this by double clicking it and calling it multi ref filter, click outside, go to my staging site and there we go. Tag one, three and five. So all of these have either one, three or five, or I can just say, show me all of them that have tag one, show me all of them that have tag five. And there you go you have dynamic filtering on your published site. So that's it. Uh, have fun with your new JetBoost.